Welcome back to Pace Immigration, paceimmigration.com, talking once again with immigration lawyer Michael O'Rourke. Michael, good to see you. Hey, Sean. How's it going? Doing very well, thank you. Uh, talking U.S. immigration today. Danger, losing your green card at the border. There was a video on TikTok that you and I were looking at a couple of weeks ago, which we're going to use kind of as a launching pad uh, for the discussion of what can happen at the border and what you should or should not do. Uh, in this particular video, there was a woman apparently from... Ukraine. She was standing there in front of the border patrol officer. Uh, she said she had uh, a conditional green card because of her marriage. She said she was breaking up, and we'll get into that later. And the officer proceeded to kind of lead her down a road to, well, then your green card is probably not going to be valid anymore. Maybe you should just enter as a visitor and sign this piece of paper. And you were, you know, you had a queasy feeling as you were watching this video. So let's get into it, but let's start off with, and there's probably some people tuning in if they saw that video because it was viral, uh, green card versus conditional green card. Apparently this woman had a conditional green card at the border. What's what's going on here? Yeah, so uh, the typical U.S. green card has a 10-year validity period, and that you get usually through family sponsorship, or, or through employment sponsorship. Uh, a conditional green card is one that's issued only for two years, and that's due to a uh, family sponsorship, specifically from a marriage that is fairly new. Okay, so you show up there at the border, you've got this thing, and then you, she did, as, at least as far as I can tell in this video, something that you say you probably shouldn't. She basically started to tell a little bit of her life story and talked about a breakup. And it led to the officer saying, well, you know, you can't actually use that conditional green card anymore because if you separate or you divorce, you're going to lose it. So you might want to enter as a visitor. And that's a problem, isn't it, Michael? I think that's where I started swearing, Sean, uh, because... <laughs> yeah. If you have a green card, you have a green card. It's a yes, with a, con a conditional green card, you are supposed to file a, an application to remove the conditional period, remove the conditions. It's an I-751 application at the end of the two-year period. Whether you have divorced or separated or you're still happily together, you have to make this uh, filing to remove the conditions. In the video, as I recall it, the officer had said that the green card was no longer valid uh, because uh, for some reason she decided to tell another, her life story. Uh, and this, of course, is a dramatization, but one that makes in immigration lawyers so upset because it happens all the time. CBP, if they expect that you have not um, maintained your permanent residence obligations, mostly to spend the, a, a, a specific amount of time in the U.S., or if you are no longer in the relationship for which the conditional green card was issued, they will try to get you to give up your green card. Right. And you've got here, never give up your green card or sign anything if the CBP officer wants to take it away, no matter how friendly or helpful they seem to be. I mean, that's one of the things that struck me in the video was it was all very friendly. It was all, oh, well, you know, here's this piece of paper if you sign it. And he asked, come in as a visitor. Now, let me ask you this. If you show up at the border and let's say you go through this kind of a conversation and then they say, if you come in as a visitor, does coming in as a visitor ruin your green card status. Yes, because what they'll have you do is just sign some paperwork that you give up your green card. Uh, it's a The form is I-407. It relinquishes your green card right there uh, at the border. Uh, they then take it away. And uh, the only choice that you have is to enter as a visitor because you are no longer a permanent resident. We've got here, only a judge can take your green card away. So let's start with that. And of course, like you said there, unless you willingly give it up yourself. Even later, if you claim you didn't know what you're doing, uh, you've lost it. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so as plain as that, uh, if you give it up, it's gone. I mean, this is a big deal. I mean, it takes years. Green cards are a big part. They have a lottery 
for green cards. I mean, a green card is a really big deal. So giving it up, do not uh, do that lightly, as you're saying. Uh, I've got another slide here. I just wanted to talk about another issue. And that issue is marriage. We covered it a little bit, but let's go over it again. If you separate or divorce when you have a conditional green card, it doesn't it doesn't automatically mean that you lose your permanent residence. In the video that we saw, it was implied uh, that separating or divorce would automatically mean that the green card is void. Yep, it doesn't. Okay, so. <laughs> it's as clear it's as clear as that. I mean, you still have to remove to file, or you have to file to remove the conditions. But if the relationship uh, ends uh, prior to the the expiration of that two year period, you're still a permanent resident. It's not been taken away. You just have to go through the formalities of removing the conditions and explaining to USCIS what has happened. One other thing that the officer said uh, was if you want to get it back, you can apply at an embassy. (laughs) Is that accurate? (laughs) No. Uh, So uh, I'm not sure who wrote this dramatization, but... You hear all sorts of crazy things from CBP. One of them is that you can sometimes go to the embassy or the consulate to get X, Y, or Z. No. Um, You might ultimately, if you can qualify again for the green card on some sort of basis, then you might ultimately go and get an immigrant visa at an embassy or consulate uh, around the world but in general you just don't go there and say oh hi i I gave up my green card but i want it back Uh, yeah it's it unfortunately people are there if the officer has an agenda to try and separate them from their green card CBP has a lot of power. They they have the power of the state, the the power to detain, the power to just harass and annoy. And you're coming off of a long flight from Europe or Asia or South America, and you're tired, you're not thinking straight, and suddenly it's like, oh, they're telling me that I can't come in. There's a problem. Okay, I'll sign this paper and I'll I'll just, I'll get in. Right. But that's the worst thing to do. Right. So that leads me to this, of course. What should I say at the board? So let's say you are presented with that. Should you simply say, no, I'm a green card holder. I'm going to enter with my green card. Exactly. Okay. And But will you be in trouble for not doing as the officer suggests? Because like you're saying, there's a person in uniform st- st- sitting there. Uh, they have a lot of power. They're, they're suggesting you go this route. You decide to push back a little bit. You might get in trouble. You're nervous about that. How should someone handle that? Well, uh, you can say, can I talk to my lawyer? And they will say no. Uh, You just have to stand firm. Like, no, I am a lawful permanent resident of the United States. I have this green card. I uh, am requesting to be admitted into the United States. Okay. Period. And as you said here, when when can I talk to my lawyer? You can't talk to a lawyer uh, then and there. But I'm guessing that immediately after this, you should give your lawyer a call. Definitely. Uh, because if CBP is flagging an issue, say you have been out of the country for too long, uh, if there's some sort of question, then we should look at it just to understand what the potential issue might be. Maybe you go out of the U.S. and you spend quite a long time abroad. There's a way to protect your green card and maintain your intent to remain a lawful permanent resident. And that's by like filing a um, uh, reentry permit application. But we should look at it uh, just in case there is an issue that's that's broader here. But okay. I want everybody to know, CBP does not have the power to take away your green card. You have to give it willingly to them. And if their agenda is to try and take it away, they might try and coerce you. They might try and be friendly. You know, they use different tactics. Don't give it up. Excellent advice. Okay, thanks, Michael. Uh, Danger, losing your green card at the border. Any questions about that? Be sure to contact Michael O'Rourke, M-O'Rourke at PaceLawFirm.com. Thank you, Michael. Thanks a lot, John. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.